Hi guys, welcome back. This is Rakhi Jha. It's uh, been a while since I've done an acrylic pour. I've been just so busy doing a lot of my orders in resin work. Um, if you follow my channel um, or if you're new, um, I do a lot of uh, tables and furniture, so it takes a little bit of time to get those ready and out the door. So I haven't done a canvas for a little while now, and I'm very excited to do this piece. Um, and this piece is going to be a commissioned piece. Uh, it is um, already um, uh, uh, a very nice lady has picked up this painting of mine that I did a while back, and she wants me to make um, a matching painting or, you know, a similar sort of theme uh, because she wants it to be in the same room um, with that painting. So um, the colors I've picked are more along the neutral lines uh, and these I've already pre-mixed them. The titanium white and the Prussian blue are going to be my split base just like the, uh, I did a split base over there with the with the brown and the um, white, uh, which was my first time actually using brown as a base. And I love what I got as an effect. So I'm going to, but in this one, I'm going to use Prussian blue and white. And then these are my top colors. I'm using a mix of Liquitex uh, Basics and Amsterdam and Brustro. And my top colors are going to be a tinge of this yellow to pick up some of the yellow over there and a little bit of blue also happening. So it is a light blue cadmium yellow. And then I'm going to give it some uh, metallics, which is gold and copper, uh, gold by Liquitex Basic, copper by Amsterdam Acrylics, which is just gorgeous. And then a little tinge of the brown to pick up that brown uh, in Burnt Umber by Brustro. So that's my base. That's my top colors. And I've already mixed them all mixed with just water and paint. And if you want to know how I mix my uh, ratios of paint and water, you can uh, see video number 36. Even though I eyeball, I did a video so that it's convenient for people um, to get the correct consistency. And um, only in the base, I've used a little bit of this Liquitex uh, pouring medium, just a little bit, so that I get a smoother finish. Uh, no science behind it, except that maybe varying the consistencies a little bit will give me a bit more reaction in terms of cells and details. But you don't have to use that. I you mostly use paint and water but in this particular case just to get it a little bit smoother in the base i've used a little bit of pouring medium but not on the top colors it's all paint and water now people ask me that why i've used that and why i just do sometimes paint and water it's just i experiment and i switch things around and i just like to keep it more fun that's about it and um, I like to note the reactions and the, the cells and the details that I get for uh, future paintings. So that's about it. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with the white and I'm going to layer the white on the top. Sort of half and half or maybe a little bit more white and a little bit less blue. Okay. Do like this and maybe like this. That's good. I could do the blow dryer or I could just use the spatula. Yeah, I think I'll just use the spatula. Whatever works for you guys, you know. Some, some people have a better handle with the blow, blow dryer. So we use that. Um, I sometimes do that, but I like to do that more when it's um, one color in the entire canvas. This way I feel it has, I have a bit more control. That's all. I just very lightly 
move it over the top. good you can always take an oof it's dripping you can always take a little bit of it and just do it on the sides i should have been more careful about it having so much paint in it there we go and you know you know you're going to use the blow dryer to blow this out so it doesn't really matter you know the straight lines or anything okay so now let's do the blue and I've just mixed these colors uh, but I let it sit for about 10-15 um, minutes right right across here there we go that should be enough And I'm just going to swipe it down. I've just wiped this down. This is a beautiful blue. I tell you, Prussian blue. I am in love with this color. Um, every time I use it, I am just amazed by the beauty of it. And I have done paintings with all Prussian blue in the background. And it's just amazing. There we go. That's good. And then I'll just take that lot of color and just do the sides. You never know people who like your painting, what they want the sides to be, whether they want to expose it or frame it. So it's better to just, you know, have it neat and clean. I like to do a lot of floating frames and in that, it's important that the sides are exposed. Oh, got a little white. So I'm just gonna use my hand and use it like an eraser. All right, so let me just wash this off and let's get started. So I see a little bit of bubbles. So I'm just gonna get it right now itself in the base. That's it. Let's start, guys. A little bit more. A few popped up. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. I have yellow. I have light blue. A little bit of burnt umber, gold, and copper. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start with this light blue. I think it's gonna look stunning with it. So let's do that. Let's go ahead with my gut. And I'm just gonna pour the colors right here. Good. Now I think I'm gonna go with this burnt umber a little bit because see, if I put yellow, I could have gone with this cadmium yellow because I want the metallics to be on top. But if I went straight on blue with this yellow, I'll get a lot of green. So I'm going to layer them a little bit, use some logic there. And I'm going to do some burnt umber. I don't know how this brown will look with the Prussian blue, but, but I wanted a little bit of the brown picked up from the other painting. So that's why I'm doing it. And then I'm going to go with the yellow, a little bit, right on top of the brown, not too much, because the gold will also, I think, make a little bit of green tinges with the blue, because the background has blue. Now I am going to go with this gold. 
so maybe a little heavy on that gold because I want the metallics to take over and this beautiful beautiful color which I just love Amsterdam copper so I'm gonna go with that Now guys, let's get some white going over here. Let's get some Prussian blue going on this side. Okay. And let's use the hairdryer now. doesn't look too bad. Nothing has happened yet though. I've just mixed the colors. Just popping the bubbles a little bit. Not too much. I'm going to do that at the end. All right. Let's see if I can get a similar design. Okay. So I think I'm going to go this way and then some in the middle. All right. So yeah, let's start with this edge. stop because it is stunning I'm just gonna fix the edges a little bit and this is just stunning and I've not even torched this yet I'm gonna torch it at the end so let me blow this a little bit I don't think I need to do much to this. It is just gorgeous. Okay, let's turn this around. Love that. Just love that. Now here, I'm going to smoothen this. See, sometimes it's the pattern that the hair dryer makes. Just need to smoothen the edges a little bit at times. I like this also with the blue on top and the, the white at the bottom. I think that's also very pretty. 
It's a great composition, I think. And enough negative space. All right, let's torch this. I can stand and admire this all day. Okay, let's start torching the middle a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I see a lot of details popping up. I want to do that at these middles. Even though in the other painting, I did torch it all around. So there was this beautiful, beautiful little tiny cells all around. Okay, now let's give it a quick over. for closer-up. So that's how it turned out. I think the composition is pretty neat. It's a bit symmetrical but that's all right. That looks good. And let's take you in for this close-up. See those beautiful shades of blue dotted with those tiny cells and this, oh this is so pretty. Almost like the blue side better than um, the white side but you know the white has its appeal against the the blue and those copper and then those that's the side the side is also very pretty look at the tiny cells those are the cells that popped up when I torched it and how gorgeous are they and they will tend to get a little bigger i love that copper and blue it's almost like alcohol ink look at that gorgeous sights so that's it guys i didn't have to do much to this painting um, I think it turned out pretty good and I think it looked good with the with the other one very neutral colors very smart colors I would say this Prussian blue and white with this copper t tinge of yellow and a little bit of green I got and I didn't want to overwhelm it so I purposely did that just a little tinge so I think this has turned out to be a hit I hope she likes it um i hope uh when i put both of them together they look good head on to my instagram i post all my dried results over there and sometimes i include it with this painting but it all depends on when i how fast i want to get the video out to you guys so do follow me on instagram as well and i make a lot of short videos over there as well and if you want to uh you know see one minute videos quick videos color combinations you can um, check that out. All right, guys. Thanks for being with me. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I must say it and you must do it. <laughs> so, um, and head on back. Uh, let's uh, make another pretty painting together very soon. Okay, bye.